This decade is the decade of African independence. Forward then to independence, to independence now. Tomorrow, the United States of Africa. Guys, today the first of August marked exactly 62 years uh, after the failed assassination attack on the former president, the first president of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Yeah, on the first of August 1962, there was a failed assassination attack on Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. That attack was supposed to have killed him, but by some divine intervention. His life was spared, but he was heavily injured, but it wasn't a life-threatening injury. And then he was taken to the Boku Hospital where he was treated by a British doctor. So on this particular day, he had gone on a trip to Burkina Faso to visit the then president of the Upper Volta, now called Burkina Faso, President Maurice Yamiogo. So the visit was done to sign a contract of the hydroelectric project that was supposed to, you know, establish the Volta, today called the Volta Lake. Okay, so that was the reason why he visited Maurice Yamiogo, the then president of Burkina Faso, which was then called the Upper Volta. So on their return, like when they were on their way coming back home to Ghana, it was heavily raining and they had difficulties on the road. And so therefore they decided to stop by at Kulungugu where there were some group of students waiting on them to just have a glimpse of the president and his convoy. Right, the president being the loving president that he was. His smile was infectious. Perhaps you didn't hear what I said. <laughs> that was the charm of Nkuma. The caring president that he was decided to stop by and greet them and just say hi to them. So there was the student amongst them who was called Elizabeth, the first name Elizabeth. He, she had a bouquet of flowers to be presented to the president. So as she was, you know, coming to present the bouquet of flowers to the president, the bodyguard of the president called um, Captain Samuel, the first name Samuel, heard the ticking of a bomb, a timing bomb. Oh my goodness, who was planning this assassination? That is the question. He heard the ticking of the timing bomb and immediately, wrestled the president to the ground. Bomb exploded in a bouquet of flowers presented to him. A number of people lost their lives while others were severely injured. Adamu Dubiale Dugumse was at the event and saw what happened. What I saw was, Okurma was uh, uh, going to greet the chiefs. After greeting the chiefs, he was presented some flowers, but he, he, his hand did not touch it. That is what I saw when he was hit by the bat. Right. So some accounts say that the little girl who was presenting the bouquet of flowers to the president had lost her life. And some too said she was heavily injured. Perry says she's still alive as of 2020 and she has even been interviewed on City TV. As you can see in this video, she's the one being interviewed here. She is Elizabeth Asantiwa who was presenting the flower to Dr. Kwame Nkrumah on that particular day. <laughs> Mm. 
55 other people were injured. The president and his bodyguard were heavily injured, but it wasn't a life-threatening injury. So they were taken to the Boku Hospital, where they were treated by a British doctor. Wow. So like I was saying, Dr. Nkuma was treated by a British doctor in the Boku Hospital and he removed a shrapnel from his back and his side. The aftermath was such that Dr. Nkuma had accused three statesmen for being the planners of the failed assassination attempt. And those people were actually death sentenced. After he was ousted in 1966, they were released. So till this day, there is a monument that stands at the site of the bombing in Boko. The visit was to discuss how to eliminate customs barriers between the two countries, a small step in the larger Pan-African unity scheme. Yeah, that is it today in history. That is exactly what happened today on the 1st of August, 1962. There was a failed assassination attempt on the then president of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, after he had visited Maurice Yamiogo of Burkina Faso to sign the contract that would bring the Volta Lake into existence. Yeah, thanks for watching. Like it and also leave your comments and let me know what you think about this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye. His smile was infectious. But I'm to you hear what I said. <laughs> that was the charm of Nkrumah, a man who was very committed uh, to Africa. This decade is the decade of African independence. Forward then to independence, to independence now, tomorrow, the United States of Africa.